I'm 19 and I'm from Kelso uh, near Chester. Uh, a bit more about me, uh, I'm set to climb uh, Mount Everest from the southeast ridge uh, at the end of March this year. It's my second attempt after I was uh, stopped by the avalanche on Everest last spring. Uh, so I'll be there on a two month trip to try and achieve my dream which I've been, which I've been pursuing for the past four and a half to five years. I was invited hill walking when I was 14 my friend uh, in Keswick. And before that, I was a sort of, you know I was a sort of guy who hated sport and exercise. Um, you know I recall in PE in school coming probably bottom three in the cross country. Um, I just hated it, and uh, a very far cry from where I am now. And um, I remember when I was fourteen, um, you know that was the first sort of mountain I've ever. Once you've been up and. I recall being out there on the mountains and it just, you know, just something popped into my head, which is where is Mount Everest? You know, I didn't, you know, it always been something that sort of actually played on my mind, but I didn't actually know, I didn't actually know anything about it. I didn't even know where it was. And that thought changed my life because I got home and I thought, actually for the first time I actually researched it and found out more about it. And I found out, you know, that people had climbed it before. And there and then I just became awestruck, fascinated and just, you know, you know, I was actually and actually, actually passionate about this mountain. Uh, I, I didn't know what it was, but it just suddenly meant so much to me and it seemed like the most incredible thing I could achieve. And I knew there and then that, you know, I wanted it more than anything and that one day I would climb it. I could have never guessed that actually four years later I would have actually been at Everest Base Camp. At this time, you know, my life had actually already beaten quite, you know, quite, quite a bit, you know, quite, you know, quite a bit of adversity since since I was a kid, such as my epilepsy, my stammering, my bullying, my confidence issues, um, anxiety, and things, you know, I didn't really have any sort of ambitions in my life. And Everest seemed like the ultimate thing I could overcome. It seemed like the end goal that would get me through all these problems. Uh, you know, I see I started speaking more and more, and obviously talks at schools and events and corporates and things in the past, mostly in the, you know, mostly in the last year alone. and. That for me is something completely new because I've had a stammer since I've been three or four, and that is, um, you know, that for me has had a huge amount of respect and it's actually been quite humbling. I mean, I've had people in tears. I've had emails of people saying that, you know, saying that my tweets inspired their sons to actually head out on a walk and climb, and that for me is so significant and that puts a lot of pride in what I do and that I can actually give something back. Because, you know, you know, that boy who's gone on a climb and a walk could end up climbing Everest himself. He could actually, you know, or he, you know, or he could take up a sport and he, you know, and he might, re you know, and he, and he might end up actually, you know, and, and he might actually, plus he might actually, plus he might actually represent England. I think I'll enjoy putting my feet up before finding something else equally challenging, if not more so. Um, my passion is to... My passion is to achieve my potential um, and give back as much as I can. And so if I keep on doing that in sport and in general, um, I think I'll be happy with that. Well, Alex is an inspiration and I think... Um, there's challenges and then there's challenges and this is this is just beyond anything I've ever, ever come across. Um, Alex has overcome some adversity in his personal life um, and I think this challenge is, is, is something that just comprehends as many people getting behind uh, him, as, him as possible. He's definitely a role model, without a doubt. I mean, he won Young Ambassador of, uh, of the Year, he's, he's carried the Olympic flame, uh, the Paralympic flame. Um, and I think more importantly, he sends out a really, really positive message for people to get fit and active, um, but also for people with disabilities. He's, he's a role model now that people can look up to. Um, I mean, climbing Everest is just, uh, I mean, it's, it's incomprehensible about the training and the discipline and the attitude and the mental toughness that he's, you know, he's actually put into himself over a very short period of time. He's only 19 years old. Um, I, you know, and to be achieving something like this at such a young age is, is, is just immense. We're a big governing body, uh, we've, we've got a lot of contacts right across the county, right across the region and across the country uh, and I think for us to be able to be able to position to help a young man like that, um, you know, I take great pride that, that Cheshire FA can support somebody uh, such as Alex, um, you know, to be able to give him that connections. And, 
I mean, certainly when you listen to his story and then you sit down and actually listen to the amount of training that he's doing, uh, I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, he thinks that a, a, a pleasure ride is 60 mile, he's a 60 mile uh, bike ride. Uh, you know, he spends his weekend camping in tents halfway up, uh, you know, Ben Nevis or, or, or climbing in Aviemore in Scotland. So his, uh, his connection and his, his passion for, for staying fit and healthy is, is, is phenomenal, you know, and football, football does do that as well, you know, the health benefits to football, you know, people playing, whether it be 60 minutes, whether it be 90 minutes, whether it even just be half an hour, um, you know, people should play sport and, and, and obviously football as well because it keeps people fit and active out there. And I think the other thing being is, is that when you think you've maybe got a little bit of a niggle or you're doing your training or, you know, you're training in your football team and you think that it's getting tough, when you actually listen to him, there's tough and then there's tough. And, and, and as I said, from a physical and a mental point of view, he is an exceptional athlete. He can help people through the challenge that he's doing and, and be an inspiration. But he's also raising money. You know, He expects to raise around £30,000 uh, for charity. He's doing something for the Sherpas that obviously died in the avalanche last year. Uh, and that's phenomenal to be able to put all of that together while taking on a... a World, well, an unbelievable opportunity uh, and a lifetime, uh, a lifetime achievement at 19 years old. Again, it's just incredible. I think actually opens up a lot of potential in people my age and below and older. In that adversity, really, you know, isn't a barrier to them. Um, so I would hope that I can inspire as many. You know, my goal is to inspire as many people as I can. Uh, you know, now and in the future.